So now that we've finished the pencil box project, we're going to go ahead and start a new project, which means we need to start by creating a new project file. Select New. Leave it checked as Single User and click Next. For the name of the project, type in Jewelry Box. and click finish. It doesn't exist yet. It's going to create a folder for us. Select OK. Now anytime that we save any files, this is where it's going to default to when it saves. Select done, new, and we have to start with a part file. So part standard IPT. We're going to start with our 8 inch piece, so click Create 2D Sketch in one of your planes. Click Rectangle. Start with your origin. So click once on your origin, once to the top right of it, and click on Dimension. Select your vertical line, and then click to the left of it. This is 4 inches tall. Click on your bottom horizontal line and click below it. This is 8 inches wide. And finish your sketch. Now select Extrude. We're going to change the distance to 0.5 and click OK. If you go to your home view, we can see what we have. So this is just a uh, 4 inch by 8 inch block of wood. Now we're going to right click on this surface and make a new sketch. And we're going to be cutting out the inside middle of both the left and the right piece. So select rectangle. Click somewhere on the yellow line and then click a second time down below it. Click and click and now we're going to dimension this, so select dimension, select your top horizontal line, and the next horizontal line, and type in 1.25, this is one and a quarter inches down is where they would first make their mark. Click, and then click, and this is 1.25, up, and this thickness, if you click on the yellow line, and then on the green line, should be a half inch thick, 0 0.5. We're use the exact same three dimensions on the other side. So click on your yellow line first, then the green one, 1 1.25, 1.25, click, click, and 0.5. Click on Finish Sketch, select Extrude, Cut, and click on the two rectangles we just drew. Select OK, and now we just need to uh, change the type of wood used on our project, or type of material from generic, and I'm going to make it cherry. Click on your home view again. Ah, didn't do anything for me. Might fix yours though. And let's save this so it opens up Jewelry Box. I'm going to call this the 8 inch side. Okay, now let's make the 12 inch side. Click your drop down for new, part, 2D sketch. Select one of your planes, select rectangle, and start with your origin, and click to the top right of it, click on dimension, your left line, and to the left of it, type in 4, enter. For the length of this, this is 12, so type in 12 and hit enter. Click Finish Sketch. 
I'm going to click on my home view so I can see what I'm doing. Select extrude. Type in 0.5. Click OK. And now we're going to right click on this surface. And actually, this is what the students in class are going to be doing. Uh, let's right click on this surface instead, on the edge. We're going to be making a rabbit cut on this bottom corner. And that means we click on rectangle, start on the bottom left corner, and click in the middle and up just a little bit. We're going to dimension from the bottom of that to the top where that little green line is over is 0.5. It's a half inch. Click enter. And let's just make sure that from this edge to the center is 0.25. Enter. So a rabbit is when we cut out, so extrude, cut, change, oh, let's select this first. Instead of distance, switch this to all and click OK. A rabbit is when we cut out an uh, entire bottom corner of something. It looks like a little slot. And it runs the whole length of the part. I'm going to change this to cherry for my display type. And save this as 12 inch piece and by piece I mean 12 inch side okay and now we get a right click well let's flip to the back of this which will make things a little easier right click on this surface and make a new sketch select rectangle click on your top left corner and down to the inside bottom left and up bottom right and up top right and down dimension you want the dis <coughs> excuse me distance between the left side and this green line to be 0.5 the same thing for between these two lines. And all the way around the part. We want this to kind of be a puzzle piece with the 8 inch side. So we're going to make from this top line down to this first horizontal green line. Click off to the side. This is 1.25. Again, you click on the top line first, then on the next one, type in 1.25. Finish your sketch. Select Extrude. Cut. We're going to be cutting out these four corners. Once you have all four selected, Click OK. Go back to your home view. And now we have our rabbit. And the two sides cut off for our 12-inch piece. Hit Save. And we're done with both the 8-inch and 12-inch sides.